Anyone want to know what color I'm feeling today? Yeah. You want to know what color I'm feeling today? I'm feeling green, like spring green on this cold winter day. Yeah, spring green. I'm, I'm dreaming of spring. So today, we're going to be working on a feelings circle. And we're going to talk about our feelings a bit, and we're going to talk about colors and feelings, and I'm going to read you something that might inspire that. Some days are yellow. And some days are blue. And some days are blue. On different days, I'm, I'm different, different too. too. You'd be surprised how many ways I change on different colored days bright red days, how good it feels to be a horse and kick my heels. How do you think this horse might feel? I started here five years ago and there was, it was an art education program. And we wanted to switch that up a little bit because um, art therapy is a different, a different approach. So art education is about producing um, for the sake of making art, which is in its own right, a beautiful thing. But art therapy is a way of working where you're making art, but it's more about the process of making art. Sometimes it feels good when you're angry and you kick your heels. Yes. Anyone ever feel that way? You stomp a little bit? Yes. Yeah, they would. Yeah. Process of one class is to warm them up. Like we do a warm up and we start talking about feelings or a check in question. Sometimes a check in question is as literally like, what color are you feeling today? Or how you doing? Like, do you have anything to share? What does that blue represent you to you? What is it? Crying. Blue might and represent red what you're... Is... So what would red represent to you? Red is when you get, like, say feel something, or when you feel something inside of you, and you don't let it out, and you don't want to get all upset when you feel something inside. OK. Do you think letting it out might help you feel better? Yeah, yeah. So you have something inside of you and you really want to let it out. And that red needs to come out, OK? Sometimes it comes out in your art. Or it could be that, so connected to the directive, like today you're going to hear me ask the students, who do you love? What do you love? We're talking about we're close to Valentine's Day. So we're, who do you love? What do you love? And, and we're, getting, we're going to get those responses. If you want to share in the circle, remember that you can share as much, as much, or as little as you want. Can you name one thing that you love? Star Wars. Star Wars. Okay, so let's put that on. Star Wars. What do you love? Westchester and chocolate chip cookies. Westchester and chocolate chip cookies. So a check-in is important to get them warmed up, thinking about themes and making connections to the artwork, and going to the tables and really being able to be free and creative and, and playful and making connections to, to the topic. At this table right behind Camilo, you're going to find crayons, or you're going to find markers, felt, paper plates. Everyone, please grab a paper plate and start creating your character. And then we'll play a little bit more, OK? Uh, no, not having colors. Yeah, why not? Uh, no, you can't. Oh, you can't. Is anyone else feeling the felt or the foam? I expect for myself to provide a space that allows them to be themselves. Sure, there's a lot of structure in there and the way I present materials, what materials I choose to use. Don't, I try not to overwhelm the students with lots of materials. They have an agenda on the board that kind of will give them the flow of the day so they know what to expect. There's a lot of, there needs to be a lot of structure in order for them to have, feel safe enough to create freely. No, so you're making lots of choices, right? You're making some choices about what color you want, and you're making some choices, Camilo, about collage materials that you have, OK? You are the best friend and dancer. They call me Ms. Reyes. They call me Miss Sunshine. They call me Abuelita. <laughs> they call me lots of things. I mean, I think I'm much more than an art teacher. I'm, I'm an art therapist, for sure. Like, that's my title. But I think it's about creating this community and safe space and a space for making art and a space to make connections. 
that lends itself to all the titles that I've just mentioned. Uh, no, not having power. Uh, Who'd you make portraits of? I made portraits of Chris Brown and me and my friends. Mm -hmm. Like who? Me and my friends, uh, Jed Haas and and my other, and my counselors. Nice. Things don't have to be pretty in here. Things can get ripped up and thrown away in here. Get your anger out on paper and scribble your way to finding yourself. And I am here as a, as a trained psychotherapist to, to support that process of the art making. You're N. N. Good. T. No, tea. Hi. I need a new one. This is bad. Yeah, wait, let's do this. I have an idea. Can we cut this one and then fold it again? Yeah. Okay. Hey, can I get a pound for being flexible? Thanks. Nice. Ryan, you want to use this? You want to use the glue gun? Okay. Can you squeeze? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Okay. You're on your own. You're on your own. What will Darth Vader say? I'm your father. Please, I am your father. All right, so I'm going to ring the chime, okay, folks? So we got to this part, we che did a check-in. We said, what, what color were you feeling today, right? Did that. Then we made art puppets, did that. Now we're gonna share. And what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is to break up into pairs and introduce yourself to your other puppet friend. And Thomas, will you, you guys are partners, so come on up and take the stage. Is here. You can talk, you can leave your coat even, stay a while. Hi, my there name you go. is so, what's your name? Who is Sam? Wait, Hi. is your I mean, puppet's name is? Baloo. How are you doing today, Baloo? Uh, good. Good. How are you feeling today? Why are you so happy? Well, that's what Sam's gonna ask you. Why Sam. is your family happy today, Sam? Because, uh... She's nice and kind. Uh, I got to uh, talk to some friends over lunch. Yeah. It's nice to have them. I want them to know that their stories need to be heard. They are creative, fantastic human beings. They are empowered and have a voice, and they and that they need to be seen and heard. You're my sunshine. You're my only sunshine. You make me happy. When sun shines gray, uh, you'll never know, year. I mean, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. They feel accomplished when they think of this space as their own. Mm -hmm.